what's always made us different at NIID Technologies when it comes to the travel and transport sector has been the fact that over the course of the past few decades we have focused inordinately on this specific sector. Travel and transport for NIIT technologies in terms of contribution is fairly atypical compared to some of our peers in that travel and transport is the largest industry vertical that we service globally across, across the world for our key clients. More interestingly, here in the Middle East, almost 100% of the work that we do, and we've been working here for decades, is in this sector itself. Now, travel and transport is an area that we find fascinating because we tend to be, and we are, digital solution experts. And the way we understand digital, the way we actually interpret the impact that digital technologies can make on the world, is that digital technologies inherently need to be tools for transforming business. As we look at the travel and transport industry, as we look at airlines and airports more specifically, we see these technologies over the last 12 odd months actually playing out significantly. What's more interesting, what's more encouraging, what's more heartening from our point of view is the fact that over the next two to three years, we actually see this trend accelerating and we believe that a lot of the issues that passengers have centered around wait times, centered around security queues, centered around baggage handling, centered around their quest for a more seamless experience can actually be realized, if not fully, then for, for at least a big chunk of it, through the, the proper usage of some of the digital technologies that we at NIIT Technologies have been playing within in and within the sandboxes that we have across our development centers across the world. We find AI, artificial intelligence, fascinating. Fascinating not, not only because it impacts one aspect of a passenger's journey or one aspect of a cargo pallet movement. Fascinating because we believe that the airline and the airport experience can be fundamentally disintermediated by the proper and the correct application of these technologies. For instance, narrow AI. And narrow AI, of course, is playing across industries. Narrow AI in the form of being surrogates for, supplements for, and, and in some cases being absolute replacements for travel agents, for airlines, or airports, is something that is in the here and now. What is now, not in the here and now, but can be a massive revenue enhancer for airports, a revenue productivity enhancer for airlines, will be the usage of AI and machine learning algorithms when it comes to predictive pricing, or real-time pricing, or enhancing pricing. So that's the second stage around AI that we find interesting. There's a third angle, there's a fourth angle, there's a fifth angle. A third angle, illustratively, is the work that's being done these days in some of the major airports in China and across Asia in terms of using AI as a tools for optimizing flight operations. There's a lot of interesting work that's being done somewhere at the intersection of AI and big data technologies to actually arrive at ways of monetizing data flows that happen across our industry. So AI is huge. Blockchain, which is the distributed ledger technology, the secure distributed ledger technology with an inherent recoverability of data is the other piece that we find interesting. IoT is the third buzzword in the industry where a mix of RFID tags, an IoT bus or a backbone is something that can help realize some of the mandates that IATA has talked about. So in sum, at NIIT Technologies, when we look at the way the world is progressing around this specific industry which we've been centered on for so many years, and we, when we look at trying to make sure that we inject the latest digital technologies to solve for issues that have been festering for a while, we see a massive applicability of those technologies to solve the problems that the sector has been grappling with for a time. And more than solving problem, we see these technologies as being material revenue multipliers for the industry.